What's up there YouTubers and fellow riders, The Kim is back at it again. Today I'm going to be performing a regular scheduled maintenance, something that you guys should be performing on your own, and I'll be using and demonstrating how to use the mini brake bleeder from Motion Pros. Stick with me. What's up there YouTubers and fellow riders, uh, it's about that time, you know, I've never really actually changed the brake fluid in my my Jigsaw, and um, as you can see, you can pretty much tell, you should never really let your uh, brake fluid turn this color, it should, it should be a nice clear uh, consistency, uh, sort of yellowish in tint, but nothing like this, nothing orange and, uh, and pretty much spent, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I go do go about doing this change myself. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we're back at the bench, guys, and I kind of want to show you the difference between good oil and bad oil. And it's always good to demonstrate this, as you can see. Now, what I've done is I've taken some fluid, some oil out of my current um, reservoir, and I put it in a bottle. And this is actually some good oil taken from my Suzuki Dot4 fluid oil. And uh, as you can see, the difference between good oil and bad oil, and I kind of want to demonstrate that. This oil, I believe, since I've had the bike, I have never actually changed this oil. And uh, so I wanted to kind of point that out, how important it is to change your oil. Uh, probably every, maybe, I don't know, five to, maybe five to six months, swap it out and give yourself some good oil because it tends to uh, disintegrate over time. So there's the image of some bad oil. It's uh, not even transparent and uh, got that uh, murky look to it. And here's some actual good oil, fresh oil. And that's what we'll be installing today. Now, I did go out and buy the Motion Pro uh, brake bleeder um, tool, but you don't actually need this. Um, so it's gonna be my first time actually using this and uh, we'll see how that works. So uh, in case you wanna pick one up yourself, here is the part number for you. And uh, you're also gonna need either a syringe or you can use a rag if you want to and I'll demonstrate in a little bit on just how about we're gonna go use that for and some uh, dot four brake fluid and get yourself one of these bottles drinking bottle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a slit in it just like I've done right here so that our hose can go in there or as we uh, remove all the old excess oil all right so give me a second while I go ahead and set that up for you all right guys so we're back here at the bike and um, now I'm using the Motion Pro um, syringe here, but um, you can use a syringe from anything. Now, if you need a syringe, you can get these on eBay. Um, the easiest way that I found is if you do have a child, they come. These are the applicators uh, for cough medicine for kids, and you can pick one up at uh, any uh, CVS or Walgreens store. So, but uh, if you don't have a syringe, I mean, there's the old method where you can just go ahead and uh, stick some uh, a cloth in there and remove all the dirty oil. And the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want to really try and flush all the oil through that's going to be that would take forever and this is a quick and simple method so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and stick in my motion pro here and we're going to remove all this excess oil where we can and make the job a little bit more simpler all right so as you can see i got all that oil out of there and what we're gonna do now is go ahead and we fill this up with some good fresh oil. And so when we go ahead and, and bleed our brake, we're gonna be sucking down that fresh oil and we're gonna see that come out in our pickup can below. All right, so I'm taking my dot four brake fluid and I'm gonna refill this reservoir up now that uh, it's completely empty and all the old oil is gone. Right. You can go ahead and be gracious and filling this up because we're going to pull this oil out and and the main objective here is not to get bubbles into your system okay so now that we filled it up and you know we got something to draw from so let me go ahead and set up the brake beater for you guys so that you can see how it works what we're going to do here is we're basically going to pump our brake and it's kind of like the same thing for like a car we're going to pump and then we're going to hold and we're going to let this handle fall all the way down and then we're going to, you're going to well, while you're pumping it when you're giving it pressure you're going to release the pressure from the, uh, the brake leader valve and the handle is going to fall down towards towards the grid and then once it's down there you're going to keep your hand on it and you're going to tighten it back up again and then release and then pump again and we're going to continue this until we um, move down 
through and all the old spent oil which is in the line comes out and reaches our reservoir. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I already have my my device hooked up here. This is the Motion Pro uh, brake meter tool set on and I've already put it over the fitting and we're going to go ahead and loosen it. Now I haven't loosened it yet so it might be kind of tight. I might have to crack it with an external tool. All right guys, so I'm just about almost finished here and I can see that uh, my fluid is coming out clear. It's no longer orange, it's yellow. Um, and it actually looks really good. Uh, you, gotta you want to remember that um, you want to keep an eye on, on the reservoir, make sure that it doesn't go down low to where it sucks in air. So, and, uh, you know, the line isn't that long, so you don't really have to really drain it uh, completely, the reservoir. Just want to make sure that you're seeing clear liquid come through and once you see that you're pretty much good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and button her up tighten this up now and i think we're good It's always a good idea to, um, even if you didn't get any oil on there, to go ahead and spray some brake clean onto your brake caliper, just in case you happen to, some happen to drizzle out and get on your rotor. You want to make sure that your rotor is clean and oil free. Last thing you want to do is hop on your bike, go for a spin and rely on your brakes for a quick stop and they end up sliding. So. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this with some, some brake clean. Clean up all this oil that may or may not be on here. And also shoot your rotor and inside the brake pads. 
get all that excess oil off. Okay. And as we look at our oil here, you can see all the bad oil and it's actually mixing with the good oil. You can see the separation in the color. Uh, yeah, that oil was pretty, pretty spent. So I'm glad I changed it. All right, so lastly, we're gonna go ahead and fill up this reservoir. We got down pretty, pretty low. And we're gonna fill it up to the upper mark or middle mark. And don't forget to, to clean off your entire cap here as you insert it. Try not to fill this up too high because when you go and put this in, that cap is, the extra pieces in here are going to add to uh, to the oil and possibly overflow. And there we go. Just add a cap. And we're all set. We should have good brake pressure now. So that's it for my uh, tutorial on how to bleed your front brakes, change out your reservoir oil. Uh, going back to this Motion Pro Bleeder 2, I actually think this is actually a great tool. It's very useful, comes in handy, it makes things a, a whole lot simpler than uh, trying to go and uh, jerry rig something up i mean you don't actually need this tool you can just hook over a hose and uh, they actually sell a one-way chuck valve which this is basically all this is is a one-way chuck valve in a nice package so uh, you can pick up a one-way chuck valve on ebay and for about a buck or two and i believe this this mini brake beater cost me somewhere like around 20 to 20 to 30 bucks but uh, so it was money well spent i'm gonna say that much and it saved me the hassle from uh, purchasing the chuck bleeder, which is uh, cheap on eBay for two, three bucks. You can't go wrong and you can go down to your local Aces Hardware and pick, up, pick yourself up some line or some tubing if you have some. But um, actually, this is, this is a really great tool. I'm glad I purchased it. Money well spent and I'll be using it uh, in the future, you know. So, you know, once again, recapping on things you need. Um, syringe would be the best, bet, best method to go. Um, I highly suggest you pick up a syringe. Now you don't have to have something as fancy as the Motion Pro um, syringe or uh, this is actually for doing your forks. But um, yeah, you can grab yourself a, a, a syringe from uh, an applicator for children's medicine. So go down to Walgreens or wherever and uh, pick yourself up some cough medicine for your kids and uh, you get a free uh, syringe applicator so that so if we go ahead and take a look at the oil here's the old oil and let me get in close here so you can actually see what the spent oil looks like that's pretty bad compared to that uh, new oil what we have in there now so um, I'm also gonna be making another tutorial on how to do the back brakes and it's pretty much the same method a little bit different because we're working with the uh, brake lever or the foot pedal and uh, but uh, yeah at any rate guys i hope this youtube this uh, tutorial helped you out uh go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it uh don't forget to like comment subscribe below um and as always i'll see you next problem